Welcome to my GeoGuessr daily challenge. Uh, I believe day 59 in a row. Yes. Let's make this full screen and get going with today. Hoping to continue the silver streak we've been having. Okay, yellow lines in the middle of the road. Oh, it's it's weird. It's kind of moving me sideways every time. Must be something to do with how they align it in um, Google. And this one's definitely out of line because I'm clicking forward, but it's going... Ah. Anyway, um, yellow lines in the center typically mean to me south... Well, at least the Americas. But I'm not sure if I agree with that with this round. Um, Benfica. Wait, first of all, let's look at the car. Is that meta there, or is that just part of that bus? It's just part of that bus. Maybe it is South South America. If it is, I have no idea where. I can't think of like any part of South America that I think looks like this. Let me adjust that camera a little bit. Hmm. There's a sign that I just passed. Oh, maybe I think I checked. Something electronic arm, speed cameras, electronic. Cars, omnibus. Is that different speed limits for cars and buses? It's interesting. South America. Uh. Kind of tropically? No, if the, these trees really just scream to me. Um, Africa, but I don't. It doesn't. It's not Africa, because that wasn't African. That was um, Spanish or Portuguese writing. And the yellow lines in the middle of the road. Plus, most African countries have really obvious meta on the car. And the few that don't are like South Africa and Botswana. I really don't know where I am. Red desert, red sand. But in South America? Okay, let's stop and think. It's kind of flat. It's actually very flat. So we're not around here. That's all mountains. I'm going to put myself here in Brazil. Down here. Good last minute change. Good last minute change. I was, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, I've seen a list of Brazil's biomes before. And I just, and my instincts were like, I think it was lower when it was this type. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, is this South America again? No. Because that's, oh, we're in Europe, I think. Two blue lines. A language that's not clearly um, Italian. We're in Albania. Hmm, okay. I do not know much about Albania. So let's look for a location sign. Obviously being in a city it's harder. They don't tend to put signs for the city you're in already. They sometimes might say it like on a shop going like, this is Paris flower shop. Problem is I don't speak Albanian so I wouldn't be able to differentiate between a, a sign that says like, whatever the city name is, then hairdresser. I could just as well think the word hairdresser is the name of the city. Although this sign looks helpful. Albania. The Republica Air. Shop. I don't know how to say that word. Why does it go SHQ? What on earth does that mean? Albania. Here we go. So maybe that that was a city.
transport of just having a look R de beer D I B E R could de beer be a city name really could but I'm not sure okay at least that Albanian flag is oh This is familiar. I'd have to go back through all of my videos and I probably wouldn't remember. But I swear I've been here before. Like past that specific building. Who knows? Is there anywhere where you can like look up what round, what country each round was in GeoGuessr? Is there, I'm sure there's someone. There's someone on the internet that tracks everything. So is there someone on the internet that tracks what each day's GeoGuess rounds were? I'll look at it after this after I do these um this video. Okay. I have no idea. Am I gonna leave it there or do I want to try and take a chance somewhere else? I'm gonna leave it there. Nope, it wasn't the capital. It was over here called Peshkopi. Still, Albania is a small country, so that's not a bad score. Trees. Hmm. America vibes? Very small chance it could be Australia. No, those power poles there kind of threw me off that idea. Okay, I'm thinking America. Let's find some information. There we go. Jampani Cemetery, not helpful. Yellow center lines. Okay, almost certainly America now. Or at least North America. Could be Canada. Come on, take me somewhere good. That is a Ute. Hello, Ute. Hit. Something's in a half mile. I think my best bet is just to keep going along this road. To get as far away as possible. What's this going to say? There's an American flag. That's a nice narrowing down of country for me. Diamond gun, gun raffle. Sign up three. Well, you know, if I didn't see the American flag, I could have known it was America by the number of times the word gun was on that sign. Car, no. Okay, let's start thinking about what state this is if we don't find any more information. Looks kind of cold, but not super cold. I'm thinking Eastern Shore. At least Eastern Side, like not, potentially not exactly on a shore. But the Eastern Side of America. Somewhere like... Virginia. Yeah. I like Virginia. We're there. Hop back into the map just to check. This is some Gen 1. Probably not. And we're out. Have I? Did I start here? I hope. Wait. No, that's a different post box. Thank God. I thought I'd managed to, um... It was Arkansas. Not too bad, but also not great, because America's a big country. Very sandy. That's not moving quickly, this one. Yeah, I, um... 
that the last round was all right. For this round so far, I have no idea. Part of me wants to say Africa. But another part of me has some Australia suspicions. But not like exactly. Problem is, I've seen a lot more of Australia in other countries, so I'm able to associate it with a lot more locations. Like, if I saw this in Australia, I wouldn't be surprised. But it probably fits a lot of other countries too. Come on, oh, signs. What do they say? Kuane, multi purpose, cooperative. Okay, I am now swapping my guest to Botswana. Kuat Quad Wane. Q K U A D Wane. It could also be South Africa. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Be mobile. Be mobile. Sorry, not mobile. A mogula. What is a mogula? That sounds so familiar. I feel like I know what that word means. A mogul. Is it South Africa, Botswana? Could it be South America? If this is South America, this will be the first time in actually quite a few rounds that I haven't got the um right continent even. Which is a big deal. Been pretty good on continents lately. Obviously, it's like, you get better at the game, you narrow things down. Oh, like, oh good, I got the right hemisphere this game. Got the right continent, got the right country. I feel like these days I'm at a point where I'm very happy if I get the right city. But I am unhappy if I get the wrong continent. Thank God it was Botswana. There's Kwane. Kwane. You know what? That was actually at a reasonable distance for me to have found it on the map. That is a shame. I should have just kept looking at, looking at the map. Korea. Okay. South Korea. I swear every single time I'm in this country, I'm in the middle of a major city. And I know it's got a country with big cities. But I swear, like, just... I mean, look at... Actually, now that you look at the map, it probably is. The entire country is just cities. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, 128, 115. Those are numbers, I think, not road numbers. Like, those are house numbers or something. Building numbers. Here we are. That looks like it could be some... Any road numbers? No. Can I swap to that side of the road, please? Nope, I just have to look at this for a distance. That Yong Dang, I think. I don't know why it sounds familiar. No. There's quite a few places, similar names. Is there another sign on this side of the road? Yeah, yes, yes. Yongdang Square. Okay, so we're actually in Yongdang. How big do I suspect this city is? And is it small enough? Big enough, not small enough, big enough. That I could get lucky and find it on the map. Where's Yongin? Yongdong. 
this way. There are so many cities that sound so close to it. It's like this country's got a million and one ways to spell it without actually saying Yongdang, the one I'm looking for. Um... It's amazing how even zoomed in, but you have to get really close to actually see different stuff. I feel like the way Korea works is it is just a large collection of big cities. Because these just... You just don't get any more information zooming in. It's down here, uh, near Mokpo. And Yongdang is a district within the city. So I wouldn't have found it. That is a shame, but I still got enough to break 15,000 and keep my silver streak alive, which I'm happy with. I believe, friends-wise, uh, Atap was the only person I'd seen who'd done it so far, and he did really well. Yep, he did. Oh, he perfect scored the last round? That's impressive. I suppose it was quite a big intersection if you found the city. Good job. How did he do in Botswana? He actually got Botswana. Although, I might be closer, even though he actually guessed the right country. He did better in Brazil. He did better in Albania. And he guessed the state of... Missouri. Still, very happy with how I went then, keeping the silver streak alive and getting better every day, which is what matters. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.